Hey, Todd McFarland here. News just broke the update. We've added some big A-list names out of Hollywood to the spawn. Hey all, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a Spawn movie update. Like a teeny tiny one, but regardless, it's still a fucking update because I'm dying to see this movie. It's it's something that's been incubating for quite some time. Todd McFarlane is going to be directing it. He's also written it with some writing credits going to someone who was involved in Todd Phillips the Joker, so it's very promising. But the article I'm going to be going off comes from comicbook.com and it's actually an interview with Jason Blum, founder of Blumhouse Studios, who's going to be producing the supposed upcoming Spawn movie that is due out in 2025. There has been a lot of radio silence in regards to the pre-production of this. This is the latest announcement in months. The last one we had was from Todd McFarlane himself. It looked like he was in a hotel lobby. He just had a meeting and he said, we are now in pre-production. There were also issues with getting funds together. Also, he's reached out to Blumhouse and they are putting money into the production. We've also had Jamie Foxx on board as Al Simmons slash Spawn. Given his current situation, recovering from a stroke, I don't know if that is going to be set in stone or they're going to have to recast. There were also murmurs of Jeremy Renner playing the character of, I believe, Twitch or Sam, one of the detectives from the comics. This, this is supposed to be from their perspective and not much dialogue was going to be given originally to Al Simmons slash Spawn. I don't know if that's going to stand. We also have to take into account the writer's strike at the moment. That plays a big part in this article I'm about to go off. The article goes on to say, the long in development Spawn reboot is apparently close to entering production. With Insidious, the Red Door producer and Blumhouse chief Jason Blum telling comicbook.com that the current hope is to have the movie in theaters in 2025. Unfortunately, it sounds like the script is not yet completed because Blum suggests that the key to getting the movie back on track is the end of the current Writers Guild strike. He offered no insight as to whether the movie, which was to be directed by Todd McFarlane, is still working with McFarlane's original idea or whether big changes have been made since the last update. So again, going back to the original concept from McFarlane, very character driven, very simple. From the perspective of Sam and Twitch and minimal dialogue from Spawn, which first off, that just does not work for me. Al Simmons and Spawn in the comics delivers some beautiful monologues, some beautiful dialogue. He's always had such good writing. To silence him is like the way they silenced Deadpool in X-Men Origins Wolverine by sewing his mouth up. You just don't do that. It's cool to have the concept from the perspective of Sam and Twitch, kind of a detective noir type film. That can definitely work, but in the case of minimal dialogue from Spawn, no, that just cannot work at all. And again, going back to the article, Jason Blum makes a good point. At this stage, everything's kind of at a standstill because of the writer's strike. When the dust clears from that, they can obviously get back to work, writing, finishing, polishing the script, going into pre-production, and then eventually filming. In terms of what I want to see, I want to see a hard R. It's Blumhouse. They know how to push the envelope when it comes to gore, and that's what Spawn has always been about, the gore factor. 1997 Spawn with Michael J. White as Spawn could have been so damn good. I'm actually going to leave a link down below for an interview with Michael J. White on Collider many years ago, where he goes into the original cut of Spawn before New Line stepped in and added a lot more CGI effects, or CGI effects even though they weren't the greatest, and it essentially just butchered the story. There is more of the love story between Al Simmons and Wanda, and you can tell in the interview, he is really discouraged, and you can also tell in the film, he put a lot of work into it. I thought he was a great Al Simmons and Spawn. The costumes were absolutely amazing, and that's what I want to see carried over into this new film practical costumes. Greg Nicotero of Walking Dead fame headed the costumes department with KMBFX in the 1997 Spawn film. Given how much costuming technology has evolved since then in 26 years, imagine what they could do now practically. Granted, you're gonna have to do some CGI cleanup and some visual effects enhancements, but as long as the practical and the visual effects work well, blend well together, you could have something that visually looks beautiful. I don't want Jamie Foxx, if he still is on board, in a mocap suit. Not the way to do it at all. What needs to happen is that my fellow friends, the writers and the studios, need to figure out their differences and get back to writing. But we've got a great group of folks putting it together. And my hope is that the movie, my prediction, is maybe we'll actually see a Spawn movie in 2025. 
No promises, but that's my prediction. Again, the development of this film is literally development hell, which just pairs beautifully with the character of Spawn. And that's all I want at the end of the day. I just want something that's faithful to the comic with some beautiful writing, some beautifully gory visuals, and I don't want the character of Al Simmons and Spawn to have minimal dialogue. Yes, make it a detective noir version of Spawn with the detectives of Sam and Twitch as the mains and having them investigating all these murders, possibly linking it to Spawn. But again, you cannot silence the hell Spawn. It just doesn't work like that. And as for Jamie Foxx, whether or not he'll stay on board, I guess only time will tell. Obviously, I hope he's well, making a full recovery. The same goes for Jeremy Renner. I mean, look, the guy is an absolute weapon. He's out and about doing his thing, filming things, considering that awful snowmobile accident that happened. I have no idea if he's still on board with this project, but this is the biggest update in months. Being a big Spawn fan, it's got me Jones in, even though it's just a little bit. The fact that Blumhouse is on board gives me a lot of hope in terms of the gore factor, and that's what I want. I don't want them to sidestep that gore. I want Mortal Kombat gore. Love you guts, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.